Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy, Green Pastures Farm. I'm mean, giving a little spill today about our parasite resistant sheep management. Uh, these are uh, a mixed herd a flock of. Uh, we've got some Saint Croix in there, Katahdin, uh, Florida Native, and a little bit of Barbados Bike Belly in there. But we use all Saint Croix rams. And uh, this is a civil pasture area that we developed several years ago. Uh, it was all cedar, eastern red cedar. And uh, you can see what happened to the cedar. We took it out. The big logs were milled right over here uh, to our left. You can see the mill set up. And we've got a big pile of cedar slabs there that need to uh, work into a product. We've got some ideas on that. But uh, back to the sheep. Uh, this sheep flock was started uh, 17 years ago, and I got them from a guy that was never worming his sheep. And so I started out with pretty good resistant, uh, you know, worm resistant sheep in the form of St. Croix. Um, everybody, uh, what we do is we have sheep in there that if they develop a dirty tail and they get thin, those are the sheep that we get rid of. So you keep the ones that work and you get rid of the ones that don't. And over time, there's quite a few of the sheep that work for you, okay? Um, you've got to be the predator in your flock. The best medicine you can give sheep, though, is to put them on the land like this. There's never been a sheep here, ever. This land hasn't had sheep on it. I shouldn't say ever. Maybe 100 years ago there was, but in my lifetime, there hadn't been any sheep on it. And so these sheep can shed the manure and... You know, by, by moving them constantly, like we're moving them, the sheep set up campsites. And so you're not exposing the sheep to their manure. Because they'll always go to the highest point on a paddock at night, and that's where they sleep. With the dogs. We've got some pretty good dogs right here with them. These are a couple young ones. Those are going to be for sale uh, next spring. They'll be fully trained by that time. Big, powerful dogs. Um, Folks, if you're gonna have sheep, you gotta have a, a guardian dog. Uh, you can use llamas or donkeys, and some people get by fine with that. Uh, we haven't. We we use the dogs, and we just don't lose anything. You just there's predators right over in that woods, probably looking at us right now. There's probably coyotes that are looking at us or smell us. But those dogs, they keep the coyotes and the bobcats at bay. But back to the sheep, you know, I think. The sheep do a really good job of improving your cattle pasture. Like this multifur rose bush, it's gone. There's an autumn olive right there um, in front of those sheep. They're going to be on this paddock for three days. Folks, this, this autumn olive, I don't want to walk up there and smoke them, but that's going to be gone right here in front of me. This is a multifur rose bush. Okay, ouch. <laughs> it's got thorns on it. Look at to nail that. There's a blackberry. It's got thorns on it. It ain't going to have a good life either. They're going to take the leaves off of that. Yeah, they'll eat some of the clover. That's fine. They can have some of that. But what I did, folks, is I came in here in the summer and I brush hogged this because the, the autumn olive and the honeysuckle had gotten so tall that the animals weren't eating it anymore. So you've got to coppice this stuff off of that every two to three years because when it gets up here, the sheep can't reach it. But look at this. When you chop, when you chop this stuff off, eight to, there's this, there's a cedar stump. I made sure I didn't hit that. Here's the uh, parent tree right here. When you chop that thing off with a brush hog, it gets mad. It comes back with more leaves, and so we're getting a lot of good leaves that feeds our deer. The cattle, the cattle did that. Cattle or a deer did, and now the sheep will come in and work on it. And so all these invasives that I used to work at all the time, hours and hours of putting poison on them, trying to kill, I'm using it to grow lamb. We're using it to grow white-tailed deer, trophy bucks. We're using it to grow sh cattle. Folks, this is putting down root exudates into the soil. This, this invasive is. It's putting in root exudates. It's growing soil. I'm not going to kill it. It's a soil building mechanism. Yes, I don't want it taking over my farm. It's not. We're coppicing it. We're knocking it down. Coppicing has been practiced since the time of the Roman Empire. Knock it down. Let it come back and eat it. Got animals here to eat it. Okay?
I just think that's a beautiful site. I feel good about that because now we're making money growing lambs, lamb meat, lamb breeding stock with plants that we couldn't market before. We had we thought it was a nuisance. We were going broke trying to kill this stuff. Wasn't going broke, but we were spending a lot of money. And we weren't making nothing. When you're killing stuff, you're not making nothing. Get an animal out there. Then you're making something, okay? You got a, you got a, a really good future for you. This is Greg Judy signing off, everyone. Go get you some sheep and sheep it off. Thank you.